because I, I learned, you know, he he lived very simply. Um, he was a very simple guy. He had a, he had this this cock farm um, that I was really intrigued with, um, and I really really wanted to see, you know, all the cocks he had. He had he had red cocks, he had tan cocks, he had white cocks, black cocks. I mean, it was just a variety of cocks that he had on his farm. And uh, so then, you know, it, then the conversations turned a little bit sexual. Um, and me being, you know, the lonely old cat lady that I am, um, I could have used a few cocks in my life. And then I learned about some dude and it all hell broke loose. You know, after thinking about it, I got to be honest with you, he emailed me again. I'm, I'm absolutely sure, man. Uh, I'm absolutely sure that, you know, this is the one. I'm going to move to Mexico. I'm giving up cop watching. That shit for squares. I'm moving to Mexico and I'm going to live on a cock farm. I'm sure of it. He built up the suspense, man, and I fell for it, right? So by the time he showed it to me, I was primed. I was ready to go. And once I saw it, you know, look, I mean, there are fucking cocks everywhere now. Fuck, I'm, fuck, what's wrong with me? Doc, you got to help me. It turned out to be about maybe, I would say about $6,200 if I had to estimate. Ah, you know, I hate to say this, but 17 grand. 17 grand. I could have paid taxes with that money, man. I'd like to do 17 grand, man. And I, you know, I haven't said anything for it. I think that's like $4 million or Slammy, 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 slammy.